many still unwilling to get the vaccine. And it is a decision that one woman says recently cost her ex-husband and the father of her three children his life. News 4's Kaitor K talked to the grieving family today. Kaitor. Michael Stevenson lived in Oklahoma City for decades before his job took him to Florida a few years ago. And that's where he died of COVID this month, never getting the vaccine because he thought it was a government conspiracy. And a shot would have saved him. A shot would have saved him. Melinda Young, mourning the death of her ex-husband, Michael Stevenson, the two married for two decades before divorcing in 2017. I think that, you know, a lot of people think the shot is how they were going to track people. You know, the government tracks people or they're, they're trying to take too much control. Even after his own father died of COVID in April, Michael still didn't get vaccinated. Two months later, he was admitted to the hospital. Within 48 hours of being admitted, he wished he would have got the shot because he was already that miserable. As far as how he was feeling, his body was hurting, he couldn't breathe, and he, he, he wished he would have gotten it. His family in anguish as he fought for his life on a ventilator. And it was such ups and downs and so many hopeful moments that, that I can't even explain that we just thought he was going to make it. We thought he was going to make it. A week and a half later, doctors asked to pull Michael off of the machines, Melinda having to make the tough decision. It was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. And now she's pleading with those of you watching at home to get the vaccine. Don't do it for you because it's the people who love you that you need to research, do your homework, see, see why you need that shot. <laughs> she believes saving lives can be Michael's legacy. We promise he would not die in vain. The lives will, no one that we can touch will go through what we went through because no one deserves it. After Stevenson's death on August 3rd, one of his sons, who was also choosing to not get vaccinated, finally went and got the shot.